So this is Roadway Lingo episode 6 and it's going to be about vertical geometry again. So our first um, topic here is the crest curve and here is a picture of um, the two types of crest curves um, that that you can have and the first one here is a crest curve that has a positive tangent grade positive, uh, positive back tangent grade and a negative forward um, tangent grade and this this curve here is a plus minus which is gonna result in a high point and this uh, this type type 2 um, crest curve does not result in a high point and if we have positive positive then we know it's a crest curve because it's gonna be the back tangent is gonna be steeper um, then the forward tangent so it's going to steeper it's going to be steeper then it's going to get shallow and the opposite happens um, with a negative negative um, crest curve which is going to be have a shallow back grade and a steeper um, forward grade and if we look at the next topic it's going to be sag curve and um, it's really just the opposite of what a crest curve is. And so if we look, we're going to have a negative back tangent followed by a positive forward tangent. And this is going to create a sag curve. And a minus plus sag curve is going to also create a low point. And if we go to B, it's going to be plus plus or minus minus again. And but in this case, in order to have a um, sag curve that's minus minus, you need to have a steep, a uh, steeper back grade than your forward grade. And um, if you have a sag curve that's positive positive, here in this case then we're going to have a shallow back grade followed by a steeper um, forward grade. And um, in terms of vertical curves, um, we can see here, if we look at this figure here, if my grade 1, my back tangent grade, is equal to my forward tangent grade, then the high point is going to be exactly at the VPI location. Right? And, um, but on the contrary, if we have a steeper grade on the um, back tangent and a shallower grade on the forward tangent, then we can see that um, the low point is not exactly at the VPI here. It's somewhere... Um, it's somewhere in this area so what this what this tells you is that either the high point or the low point is going to be closer to the um, closer to the shallower grade between the two and if the grades are equal then the low point or high point is going to be exactly at the VPI location and lastly, um, number three, which is a topic that I've covered in many of my videos, but I'd just like to reiterate it. Um, and this VPC is the vertical point of curvature, VPI, vertical point of intersection, and VPT, vertical point of tangency. Um, this is a pretty short video, but I think this is really important. And um, that's it for today's video. Thanks.